I have animals like Ben and Jerry and Mara and Luigi, the two-headed animals, because obviously it causes a lot of stress for me, and uh, it is kind of a lot more risk. What are you guys doing? Oh, not loading up any snakes. I know, I'm just down there. I'm literally touching him on the tip of his nose. There's no other good way to get bit than that. I think there might be a couple other gravid ones. This one here looks like she's pretty puffy. Putting the building up for sale, guys. We're out of here. Wild caught, mean as could be. I think it was the first bad bite I ever actually had. It's that little mayhem. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. You may remember my two-headed snake here, Ben and Jerry, a week or so ago, regurgitated. So I wanted to give you a quick update. They are doing absolutely incredible. We skipped meals this week. We haven't handled, I mean, other than right now handling, been leaving it alone. We're gonna feed it in a few days, but it's looking incredible. I think it's gonna be completely fine. But people ask me, and even I sometimes wonder, you know, why do I have animals like Ben and Jerry and Mara and Luigi, the two-headed animals? Because obviously it causes a lot of stress for me, and uh, it is kind of a lot more risk when you have an animal that is polycephaly with his conjoined twins. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But beforehand, I want to show you the new merch. This is actually Salt Merch, Salt Life Merch. We also have Salt and Pepper Merch. Uh, Bartjackboys.com going to be on sale for the next maybe 10 days or so. So make sure you get your some. I'll put a link in the description as well as pinning a comment up top. Again, only about 10 days. We'll ship before Christmas. So hey, these make great Christmas presents, uh, as you know. But uh, back to two-headed animals. We all know that I've had my tragedies when it comes to two-headed snakes. I mean, you know, we had Laverne and Shirley, we had Cookies and Cream, and then of course we had Rick and Morty, the two-headed turtle. Now I'm happy to say that Mara and Luigi, the two-headed snapping turtle, are doing so well. They're eating like crazy, they're growing like crazy, they are absolutely adorable. But you know, it is a risk when you have a two-headed animal because obviously when they're conjoint twins, there's a lot of other things going on, and a lot of times the attrition rate or just the survivability rate is really, really low because the majority of them don't make it to a year old. Now, I will say that I'm pretty optimistic about these guys here because of how unbelievably hardy they are. I mean, they eat like crazy, they move around like mad, so I'm pretty, pretty confident about these guys. But the reason I do two-headed animals is, no matter how much a cool animal like Honey the Piebald Ball Python, and don't get me wrong, this animal does attract a lot of people because it's piebald. Look at the big white splotches on it. It's incredible. But the fact is, is that it's only going to attract so much curiosity, right? People are going to be like, that is a beautiful snake. But when they see a two-headed turtle, they see a two-headed snake, it's a completely different reaction. I mean, last night we had like 50 kids in here on an event, and literally every kid was freaking out about Ben and Jerry. We didn't pull it out, but they were looking through the cage, and that's all they could talk about. And then they saw Mara and Luigi and they go, oh my God, a two-headed turtle. It created a ton of excitement and curiosity. And that's what it's all about. Yes, there's a lot of risk. And I put myself through a tremendous amount of stress. I mean, obviously when something goes wrong with Ben and Jerry, like a regurgitation a week ago, I am flipping out. Whereas if it was just a normal cow king, I'd be like, yeah, it happens. No big deal. We'll be fine. Next week it'll eat and it'll be all right. You know, so I go through a lot more stress. The animals always are a lot more delicate. So we're always stressed out. But I think it's worth it, right? Right? because I mean they are such a draw and if that draw can get people in the place that we can teach them about reptiles it's a complete win. It's usually pretty quiet around here because Eric and Mary off but I hear them downstairs no idea why they're here so let's go take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you guys doing? Oh, not loading up any snakes? I know I'm just telling you I hear you for sure you guys are yeah, stealing everything. <laughs> we're no, we're just, we're actually gonna take a quick break. You know, take it's a long, break. take a break. Take but a break. No, I know, I know, we're, we're, we're here to work. We're, we're here, here to work. To work. So. We just had to get caught, up, get caught up, you know, be with Kelsey being gone. We just want to make sure everything still gets 100% of the attention I, it deserves. I already yeah. got bit by a retic. What? You, you missed that. Which one? Yep. That, uh, Lucy's baby. Lucy's baby, yep. she's supposed to be tamed. I know it, I know it. Right. I was going to check it, bam. I hope you guys are enjoying your day off. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty nice. Always snakes, good time, man. Got my tour in the house. How are you guys? Uh, what's your name? Charles Gordon. Charles. I'm Kelly. Hi, it's Hi. so good to meet you guys. And you're from? Uh, West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. I'm so excited to have you guys. Let's uh, jump in and have a good time, all right? And 
one of the things you guys know I love about my job and what I do here is uh, we get people to uh, to have experiences with reptiles. And you came in now. You're not afraid of snakes, but you just weren't. A big yeah, I'm fan not a fan. Yeah, not just even not a big fan. fan. So he wasn't sure if he ever wanted to touch one, let alone hold one. And uh, are you proud of him? I'm so proud. That's of him. so awesome, holding Pinocchio. So I tell you what, that it, it just it truly just made my day. The rest of the day is going to be amazing just because of this experience. You looking for a cool leopard gecko? Or a ball python? Or a cool colubrid of any sort? Whatever reptile you might be looking for, we have our annual Black Friday sale this Friday coming up from midnight to midnight. That's right, everything is up to 50% off at bhbreptiles.com. So if you're thinking about getting a cool pet reptile, I think uh, it's the perfect time for it. Again, Black Friday up to 50% off, bhbreptiles.com. Pushing my luck basically at this point. I know he's not too happy about me doing this, but you know, uh, one big thing about these these guys is that like you know constant touching and constant sort of those those little uncomfortable moments that you essentially would think that would make you get bit I kind of have to test that I have to, have to be willing to get bit just to prove that I can't get bit <laughs> yeah so pretty much you're you're making the lizard slightly uncomfortable more and more so pushing it in a direction to where that blow no longer becomes uncomfortable to a point where he doesn't associate with this as stress and anxiety he associates it with like this is just part of being handled that thing used to bite your fingers off. he's still thinking about it I mean look at his face he's still mad <laughs> It's still funny. You have to present your finger under them like that. Now, outside of that, outside of literally touching him on the tip of his nose, there's no other good way to get bit than that. He's, he's getting there for he, sure, he's man. He's still thinking about it. He's still upset. He's still trying to find his way off me. He's trying to, like, you know, but it's tolerating it now. He's and obviously, I see, I seen you getting him out. He's still a little rambunctious when you're getting him out, but he calms down pretty quick now. It used to take 10, 15 minutes. Honestly, now it's pretty quick. Honestly, it's the biggest puzzle to crack with him right now is getting him out of the cage to a point where he can he associates it positively and stops associating it with like every time we open it. He, I'm getting out. Oh no, I gotta freak out. I gotta show my I gotta show my chest and be a big dog now. You know. Like, so have you been taking any like steps to kind of get that away from him so that when you come up to the cage, he's not immediately combative? So I do things like um I I, I literally will come up to the cage and I'll just like rattle the lock like this and then walk away you know do, do things that like anything that he thinks himself like oh they're about to open the cage I kind of want to confuse him because I wanted to get him back to square one where he doesn't even think anything when that when that lock opens he doesn't think anything when that glass opens so like every time I rattle the lock sometimes I don't even over the cage sometimes I open up the cage I'll close it back up again and walk away and do nothing with him all those sort of things he hears it he notices it and I want to make sure that he doesn't think that's that's oh I'm getting out every time. So because obviously he's not he's not happy about being out, but he's tolerating it enough to the point where we can hold it. So what are you guys doing again? So today, you know, we got this green anaconda ivy. ivy? Everybody yeah. knows that. Of course, yeah. And we don't I haven't messed with her too much, only a few no, times, really you know. So you guys are gonna take her out? Yeah, and did you hear about her biting a couple people recently? No. Yeah. Did. Yeah. yeah. No, this, seriously. It was like a three-year-old kid. During no. a tour. No, it's true. not true. Actually, <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> but, but seriously, be careful. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description to these guys. Uh, I'm gonna, they're going to do it over on Noah's channel. I'm busy. I've got a lot going on today. Be careful. We're gonna be Treat careful. my snake good. We don't will. don't hurt her at right. all. And if she's going to bite, just take it like a man. All right? I'll freaking let her have one if she bites me. No, you're not. You I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, you better I'm, not. I'm, be I'm, good to Ivy. Okay, guys. All right. Good. Link in the description. Now that we've had the viper boas here for a few weeks, we're just kind of going through. A lot of them have been feeding really well. Again, we found that one baby. We didn't find any others yet. I don't know if they're down here. It's a big basement. We might come across them. Totally a bummer. But I will say that I think there might be a couple other gravid ones. This one here looks like she's pretty puffy. You can see how bulgy she is right here. Definitely a very beautiful animal. So I definitely have to somehow get a different system to where if these guys have babies, they don't have them all over the place. Again, look at the size of that animal right there and you can see just how unbelievably swole she looks right now I would say for sure that she's gravid but again it's really hard to say because I don't know a whole lot about viper boas and then this girl for sure I mean look at that thing that is just ridiculous you can see the bulges just popping out right here so this one looks like it for sure so I'm gonna have to definitely switch these out of these cages so that we have a place where you know they don't get out we don't want that to happen another litter of babies and have them all loose over but nevertheless looking good absolutely loving these Viper boas, and with any luck, maybe we'll get a couple more litters and have some more babies to raise up. Dude, you know I was talking about those little house centipedes, the leggy boys. Yeah, Mr. Leggy. I open up a slide open a tub. There's one sitting in there. Not Mr. Leggy, a different one. A different one in your shop. In here. 
I have it. No. I captured it. Is it there? Dude, I swear to God, oh, okay. dude. Let's go look. Yeah, we have to leave. leave. We have to move buildings. I know. We're, go we're going to have to leave. There's not supposed to be any Mr. Dude. Leggies in here. In with the snake. Just chilling there. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't believe it. No way. Oh, oh. But it's like you said. Look at that. No, oh, very, it's a baby. Don't hand it to me. I know. It's a little one. Oh, I don't like it when it crawls. Oh, my gosh. I tell you. Oh, my gosh. This is. You know what? This, is, this was into my building. Yeah, I know. These things are. This these things are so freaky. Work environment. Oh. All right, man. We're moving. Putting the building up for sale, guys. We're out of here. I have this little rack over here that I always call like my hodgepodge of snakes. Just because it has a bunch of really cool stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else in the collection. So it's kind of cool stuff. I absolutely love it. This, believe it or not, is just a normal Colombian boa constrictor. But look at the pattern on it. This isn't a jungle. This is something completely different. And there's actually a few of them that were produced in this litter that a friend of mine produced. And I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and raise them up. They're just so cool. And again, uh, I don't know where it fits in the future plans, but it is super awesome. And then, of course, speaking of boas, I have this Tiana red tail boa. These are true red tail boas. And hoo hoo doggy, that is one gorgeous snake. I just love these guys. Tiana red tail boas were one of the first snakes I ever had. I think the fourth or fifth snake I ever bought when I was a kid was a Guiana red tail boa. It was a wild caught, mean as could be. I think it was the first bad bite I ever actually had from a snake. I remember getting railed and bleeding like crazy. I think it was either maybe the second or third bite I had ever gotten, ever, and it was a pretty bad bite. I'll never forget that day. And this is actually a Sirenan red tail boa. So much like the Guianas, these guys get a little bit bigger and are unbelievably beautiful. I mean, just look at the richness and beautiful texture of that tail. Whoo! tell you what, I have loved red tail boas since I was a kid. Never once have I produced a true red tail boa in my career. So hopefully I'll get lucky and maybe uh, breed these guys down the road because that would be an achievement for me personally that I couldn't even tell you much about. And then of course we have Marshmallow, the Ivory Burmese Python. Just beautiful. I love it. Not exactly a white snake, more like a yellowish white snake, but nevertheless unbelievable. Getting some size to it. Super tame. This is definitely going over into the expansion at the Reptarium because people are going to love handling it. And again, a handful of other things in this hodgepodge rack, but I love all of them. They're all really special animals to me. All right, it's about time to open up at the Reptarium. Looks like there's a whole bunch of people outside, a bunch of kids, so should be a really fun time, that's for sure. You guys ready for this or what? You guys excited? A little nervous. A little nervous? Don't be, don't be nervous. Don't be this will be fun. This is going to be absolutely amazing. You guys ready? Tell me when yep. you're ready. Ready. Okay, let's do this. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Thank come. you. Oh, hi, guys. You guys can figure out how to get in here. Come on in, guys. Come on in. Oh, my gosh. How are you guys? Hi, how are you guys? Hi guys. I know it's cold out here. It's a real nice and warm. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm not sure if I got that last take, Jay, so this is a new one. So every time we get out the snake, a bunch of kids just kind of swarm around. It's so much fun. We got Sunrise out over here. Hi, vlog. <laughs> so with all the kids here. We're gonna see if we can get a picture with Daisy. We're gonna take her out and just set everyone up here. It's gonna be mayhem, but it should be absolutely incredible. <laughs> it's absolute mayhem. <laughs> Just shut down at the Reptarium. What an absolutely banger of a day and night. I mean, we had such a good time over there. If you guys enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor and uh, hit this video over here. Uh, just another cool Reptarium video. Here's an entire Reptarium playlist. If you guys want to see what's going on over there, over on this side, you could click that subscribe button if you don't mind. And while you're at it, you know, turn those post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day and you better be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.